guys, Dylan here. Welcome back to another action figure review. And today, we're reviewing the Marvel Legends Venom Let There Be Carnage Movie Carnage. It's a ridiculous title. Look, the truth is, man, I already have like two Carnages, but I wanted this one because he looks so freaking cool and it's from the movie that people hate, and he only fought for Venom for like a couple minutes in the end. But the point is, I really like Carnage, and having both movie versions of Venom and Carnage is really cool. So, we're gonna open this guy up, but before we do that, who is Carnage? What is Carnage? Why is Carnage? We'll be answering all these questions right now. Haven't done this in a while. So, here is the history of Cletus Cassidy, aka Carnage. Now, I normally I would go into straight detail of every single point of his story, but the reality is, if you're a fan of Spider-Man, Venom, you already know, the symbiotes in general, you already know this, so, Cletus Cassidy is a f***ing serial killer, censor that editor Dylan, he is a serial killer, that's it, he was born and raised in a very unhealthy household, but I didn't change the fact he was still psychotic, I mean, man was killing pets and all that, and then he actually killed his parents, I, I, I can't even explain that, he just killed his parents, then when he went to the orphanage, he burned it down. Now, here's the thing though, in the movie, Shriek and Carnage, Carnage, Shriek and Cassidy were in the exact same orphanage. In the comic books, they met way before that. And you know, after that, he just, he was a serial killer, like that, he's literally just a straight up crazy serial killer. But, where things would change drastically, is when Venom escaped prison. See, at this point, Cletus Cassidy was in prison, the same prison that Eddie Brock, who at that point was a villain with Venom, was in. He was able to escape, but a little piece of Venom was still in the prison and attached to Cletus Cassidy. Now, you might be wondering, Dylan, if a little piece of Venom landed on Cletus Cassidy, doesn't that just give Cassidy another version of Venom? And you would be right, but the thing is, symbiotes are very, not naive, but they, they absorb the emotions and like, the um the personalities of their hosts that's why when venom start uh, that's why when eddie started being an anti-hero venom was going along with it and that's why when he was with flash thompson he just said i'm the full-fledged anti-hero but for cassidy he was a deranged serial killer so that little piece of venom became its own symbiote attaching its personality basically making a clone of cletus cassidy and so now we have carnage it's just not a good combination. Now, in the movie, from what I remember, it's the exact same thing I said, except for Cletus Cassidy and Shriek met up in the orphanage before stuff hit the fan, and the symbiote did get its personality from um, Cassidy, but it became its own person and just started doing stupid stuff. So, it, it's, it's there's no real difference. But anyway, back to the action figure review. The painted sculpture of this action figure is absolutely, without well, a shadow of a doubt, amazing. Now, I know it's just red with little splats of black, but the thing is, that is literally who Carnage is, and it just looks so cool, especially in movie form. I'll give it that. The movie did a great job showing how terrifying Carnage is. That, I'll give the movie. But seriously, the design of this guy just looks amazing, and it's so cool. I mean, looking at his face, it just looks like he's smiling at you all the time. The devious smile they just rip you apart the one thing i don't like though they didn't paint the back I, I hate i don't know why they didn't paint the back but they didn't it's very very stupid of them but besides that it, it's just really cool and it's tall so yeah really nice for accessories he comes with one hand that's trans like transforms the middle finger into a, a knife of some sort he also comes with a complete like i, I want to say machete that just like attached to his arms arm <laughs> attached to his arm he also comes with an open face which just looks amazing god jesus that just looks so freaking cool i love it and he also comes with like a lot of a lot of tentacles well technically three tentacles four actually the cool thing about these tentacles, though, is that they're all bendy wire, so I can do whatever the heck I want with them, which is just so freaking cool! I would have done more today, but the thing is, I've been recording and voice acting for, like, all this time, and it, it just hurts my throat. But the point is, <laughs> the accessories on this guy is absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt, amazing. Alright? Now, 
Some would say I kinda wish Carnage came with fist hands, and if you say that, you need to get the hell out, cause when has Carnage ever used his fist? Now, I would say he does need some more, you know, transformic-like hands, but let's be real, in the movie he didn't really do much transformation with his hands, like in more weapons and stuff, except for the tentacles and the stuff I just showed you for the accessories. The point is this guy looks really cool wearing it, like they just, it just calls Carnage, man. It's, it's just, it's, it just screams Carnage. <laughs> Scream Carnage, because there's a symbiote named Scream. And now here's something I don't actually do a lot. We have comparisons. Here's Movie Carnage to Andrew Garfield Spider-Man. And if you're wondering why, let's all be real here. If things went the way it was supposed to be, we would have seen Andrew Garfield and Venom fighting Carnage. And that would have just been a 100% miracle. Next, for Movie Carnage, we have Movie Venom. Which, I'll be honest with you, my god, I didn't... I didn't think for 40 bucks you think it's just it's just weird because my god carnage is so freaking big like taller than venom but in the comic books they're like the same size that's why i kind of don't like because they like i understand making venom big and all but see this is this is the stuff that goes crazy because you make carnage too big still looks pretty cool though and now for articulation actually really good it was stuck when i got it sadly so i had to boil it and take all the parts off, do the super glue trick and all that crap, but in the end of the day, the articulation is good. I should not have to modify it, doesn't change the fact that it's still pretty good. You can get him into so many poses if, if, if you keep him on his feet. I'll be real with you, I edit out almost every single freaking time this action figure fell. Whoever decided to use these feet, th like these specific feet for such a tall action figure, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, probably did it because you used up your budget for bendy wires and I understand and it's just sad thank god I have the stands to hold it up but it's very um it's very uh inconvenient to deal with such things and now it's time for my rating for painted and sculption I give this thing a star even though the back isn't painted the front looks amazing and to be honest with you let's all be real here you're only looking at the front who's looking at the back unless you're a stop motion like me and I generally don't care. I'm still going to use this guy for the third one anyway. Coming soon, coming soon, coming soon. Anyway, for articulation and accessories, even though I did have to fix the articulation, I still give it a star because the accessories are crazy and it's a bendy, bendy wire tentacles. The right way this time. Not like Dr. Octavius. God, that was just sad. And for pricing, which is actually 40 bucks, give this thing a star. It's been a while since... Like, a deluxe action figure has only been, like, 40 to 30 bucks. So, I don't know what's going on. Maybe prices are going down. Or maybe Hasbro's finally being generous. But either way, keep it up. Keep it up. But, yeah. Giving this thing three stars. If this is would be if this would be your first Carnage action figure ever, or you just really like the, the Sony Venomverse, then I would recommend this action figure. Because it actually is really freaking good. And the amount of things that you can do with this guy is absolutely amazing. Like, I took... I, I had a difficult time taking pictures because I, my stand broke in the, in, in the middle of it, but it doesn't change the fact that this thing is so freaking cool. So yeah, if you have movie Venom and you want movie Carnage, or you just want a Carnage for your collection in general, I will highly recommend this version of Carnage because he looks so freaking cool. He's awesome. The bendy wires is great. And he's just, it's just perfect, man. Especially if you're trying to like do a stop motion and Carnage is a little bit small because you're using the movie Venom like I had to deal with. So it would make to total sense for you to get this guy. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please give me a like and a subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Now, Next review will be Angel, because that's the only guy I have left, because I know y'all don't want to see that page puncher Superman. But of course, you know me, always gotta make sure I got something for y'all to review, which is why I got something pretty, pretty insane to actually get in 2024. Yeah, so all seriousness, this is like the luckiest find, like, ever. Because, like, if you don't know this guy, it's Toxin. He's the son of Carnage and Venom, if I'm correct. And this action, this specific version of Toxin is Marvel's, uh, Hasbro's second time of making this character. So this thing is rare. Got him for about, uh, 50 bucks. 
and I I, I, I kind of don't want to open him because it's like so rare. But on the other hand, I'll open it. I'll put up a voting poll so y'all can decide. I I, I can't decide. Anymore.